Last two things, or this last concept I'm going to talk about, it's not going to be uh, tested or quizzed other than what's on the next slide after this. It is a relationship that relates to these. I don't have it, I'm, I've not covered it in the book, but I do want to just talk about it really quickly. Okay, and that is, uh, on these we were looking at two tangents, tangent segments that originate from the same point. And if you have a tangent and a secant that originate from that same external point, there's a different relationship that exists, and that relationship is the tangent segment squared, so in this case AD squared, is going to equal the product of the exterior portion of the secant, so AB, times the entire secant segment, AC. And so that's the relationship that's going to exist here if you uh, have a tangent and a secant that originate from the same external point. And again, I'm, I'm talking about this just so that you've seen it before. We're not going to, again, we're not going to cover it in any homework, quiz, or test. You might see it on your term test, or you may have already seen it on one of the term tests. Okay? But uh, it is something that is, is often presented in a geometry class. And so here's the, the examples of this. I'll talk through the first one and then give you a chance to do the second two here. But if you take the relationships, it's this tangent segment, AD squared is going to equal the product of the exterior secant segment, AB, times the entire secant segment, AC. Okay, so if we apply this uh, equation to the pieces here, if BC is 5, AB is 3, and we want to solve AD, so I'll call that X. The equation is x squared, the, x, the tangent segment squared, is equal to the exterior part 3 times the entire thing, which is 3 plus 5, or 8. So that's going to equal 24. Extract the square root. And you get x is equal to, remove any perfect square factors you can from 24. So you have 4 times 6. The square root of 4 comes out as a 2. The 6 is going to remain inside the radical. <clears throat> so you would get 2 root 6 as your length x. Okay, take just a couple minutes here and see if you can answer questions 2 and 3. Talk through the solutions for this. So in the second problem, AD is 10, AB is 4, and we want to find BC. So I'll call this Y. Okay, so if you look at this, we get the tangent segment 10 squared is equal to the exterior part of the secant, 4 times the entire secant, which happens to be the sum of 4 and y. And so we can solve this. Again, you can solve it a couple different ways. Here, if we just square this, you can either distribute the 4, or it's probably easier to divide by 4 here, leaving 25, and then subtract a 4 from both sides, and that gives you y is equal to 21. Uh, you could test it and see, is it true that uh, 4 times 25 is equal to 10 squared? Yeah, so it confirms that. Okay, if we look at this last example, here if you're told that this value AC is 12, AD is 8, and you want to solve for AB, so we can call that Z. So we know that 8 squared the, ex the tangent segment squared is equal to the product of the exterior secant portion z times the entire secant portion 12. And so it's just a matter now of calculating. Uh, 8 squared is 64, divide both sides by 12. And so z is equal to, uh, remove any common factors that you can between these two terms. You can remove a factor of 4 from each of them. 4 goes into uh, 6. One time with two remaining, four goes into 24 six times, so you get 16. Four goes into 12 three times, so if you reduce that down, you get the fraction 16 thirds as your answer.